talking The Perished. This one is directed and written by the most Irish sounding person ever, Paddy Murphy. Now this one stars uh, Courtney McCohen as Sarah Decker. Now this is Sarah's story, and it's kind of an abortion based horror movie if you can, uh, if you can imagine. Now, this is an Irish film, and in Ireland, at least when this movie was made, there was quite strict rules in regards to abortion, i.e. you couldn't have it. Uh, now, as far as I'm aware, that's been kind of changed, actually, in, in recent years, although this is a relatively recent movie. It's only just... This law has only just been changed last year. Um, and I know around the world there are different, um, obviously, point of views on abortion, and this is really the crux of this story. So Sarah is this young woman and she, you know, she's seeing this guy who ends up getting her pregnant. Um, she's unmarried, her family are very religious, especially her mother. And this guy ended up ditching her without realising he's got her pregnant. Now, she, her parents find out and kick her out of the house and say she's like, you know, a, a shame to the family and all of this. So she, at a wit's end, decides to go to England, where the uh, abortion laws are a lot more uh, relaxed here, and gets an abortion. She goes back to Ireland, stays with her friend in this kind of large house that he's one of his parents own. And they, this house has a little bit of a past. Uh, coincidentally, uh, something to do with women who have, uh, have had abortion, things like that. A little bit of a coincidence, but we'll kind of, you know, we'll go with it. And while she is there, strange supernatural occurrences start to happen. Are the spirits of the unborn trying to claim Sarah as their a mother ultimately, what will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let's discuss first of all what works with The Perished. So obviously a somewhat of a hot button topic in regards to abortion. You are going to have a opinion on this one way or the other. Um, but the, one, one of the things the movie does in its strength is it actually tries to have arguments for both sides of it. It doesn't try to preach to you uh, as, a, as a film one way or another. It actually tries to be quite balanced in its approach, which is a good thing I think. You know, we'll have arguments from Sarah as a person who doesn't that doesn't want to have this child. It's her choice. But then we have arguments, obviously, from the uh, the sister of the of a, a boyfriend again about how it's you know she's kind of pro life and things. And obviously, the mother is a very religious um, kind of sort of character as well. And obviously, from that kind of point of view, so it's it's, it's all done. In uh, I, I would say to a to a, a way where it doesn't become preachy and actually is a gives you a balanced view, ha showing you all of the opinions or at least at least a cross section of opinions about that kind of very uh, provocative subject matter. Uh, and to go hand in hand with that, I have to give props to the cast here, who I think do a really good job. Um, the character of Sarah is interesting because I have to say she is actually somewhat selfish. And a tad unlikable to a certain degree because she really does uh, use other people for her for her own benefit within the movie. Not to like a huge ex extent, but she's very reliant on this friend, um, the, her father, things like this, and, uh, and 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 then obviously the what's happened with the kind of the baby itself. But it's a realistic portrayal of, of a of a very complex character in a complex kind of situation. Now, she's not entirely unlikable, don't get me wrong, but there is just an element there. But it makes for a a much more well-rounded character. In, in many horror films, one of the key things, as I've always said, is you need to have characters rather than caricatures, where, you know, one person has one defining caricature and that's it. And here, the characters are multifaceted. So it's, it, you know, it's a, it's a testament to the cast, because they all do a great job in, in actual fact. And, and pretty much, you know, all of the main cast members have you know, varying degrees of grey, so to speak, within their personalities. But also the writer-director, Paddy Murphy, as well, for, for obviously being the kind of the hand that steers the ship, so to speak. The story itself, I've got to say, was, was somewhat original. Uh, now, we have seen this type of thing before. There, there, I was reminded of even sort of Alien 4 Resurrection and things like this and The Unborn. There are kind of like uh, movies that have dealt with this, but it's not a, not a subject matter that we see loads of. So it does have a, an, enough of a, 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 a uniqueness to it uh, to to have you know stand out in a in a somewhat crowded kind of haunting film, which ultimately this probably falls under. 
Uh, and there are some interesting kind of practical effects here, quite unique uh, in regards to a, uh, an entity, shall we say. Um, does it entirely work? We'll come on to that. But nonetheless, I've got to say, I thought it was certainly uh, horrifying uh, when you can kind of think the idea behind it and, and in an interesting uh, concept. But I don't know if it practically work all that well uh but we'll come on to that so let's talk about maybe what doesn't work so there is a creature in this you want if you want to call it that uh, now within this kind of house there is this uh this legend of all these kind of like unborn souls that are trapped there and they're ma manifested in this kind of creature which is basically an adult man in a kind of like like a meat suit looks like um obviously i, I guess it's meant to be like an unborn fetus with kind of like dolls faces and arms thick sticking out which i think are meant to be little babies and things like that but it, i don't know i don't know if it 100 percent worked it maybe looked a little bit silly i have to say it kind of is, is gross but i think it's a little bit too much so i think you know i don't know if I could, an adult size kind of creature really got across the fact that this was meant to be the um, the cognitive collection of all these kind of like babies and things like this and the little dolls and things like that. Again, it was maybe just a little bit too much, I think. It needed to have, it needed to have a little bit more subtlety, I think, possibly in that, in that regards. In fact, I would say the actual climax is uh, somewhat of a jumble compared to the very um, uh, sobering kind of first two acts, really. Uh, when we get to the climax, it goes into a little bit of a hodgepodge B-movie territory to a certain degree. There are a few conveniences, as I've mentioned. This, this house just happens to be the site of all these uh, uh, wayward women before it, and it just happens to be the, the house where friends' uh, parents live and, and, and stuff like that. So there's a little bit of a coincidence there and, th and things like that. Um, there are a few just kind of like made, made, of minor plot details as, as well, which I won't spoil for you, which I didn't think were necessarily uh, all that sort of... Um, made a lot of sense there's also a little bit of poor camera work here as well uh, unfortunately some of the uh, some of the camera work it doesn't seem to know where it wants to be shooting people are moving around and the camera seems to kind of be following the person but not quite being able to sort of sell in sort of certain scenes um so there's a little bit of uh uh, yeah, just a little bit of poor camera work here and there. But overall, I would say it's a relatively solid uh, horror movie uh, with obviously a, I don't know, a hot button topic. So I guess if you want to watch this, it may depend on your point of view on this, perhaps. But i got to say, it, I think the writing is solid, the direction is solid, the performances are solid, and um, the concept is interesting, although I don't feel uh, maybe pulled off too you know, a, a perfect degree, so to speak. And the ending is a little bit on the weak side, I will say. Uh, but worth a watch, I feel, if you like a, a horror movie. Not really a criticism, but just think that's something I've got to point out, really. This being an Irish film, I actually found it quite hard to understand some of the dialogue here. It doesn't appear that, that there's... I mean, from what, I, from what it sounds like, they haven't done a lot of ADR. Uh, and there are some sequences where I just couldn't understand what they were saying. And I only live over the, the Irish Sea, really. So uh, some of the dialogue is a little hard to understand. So obviously, if you're from Ireland, not going to be a problem for you. But if you're outside of that, then you'll maybe miss some little bits of dialogue here. And obviously, uh, I guess that's the nature of the beast when you are making a, a film from a very specific part of the world. But there you go. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.